you uh, have you been involved in all three pre-season games so far? Of the uh, no, I, we I missed the the London Welsh one obviously because we're playing uh, sevens the day after, so I got the pleasure of winning Middlesex sevens with the, the other boys. With your with your and with your two brothers as well. Yeah, that made it even more like uh, more special. So yeah. Good. Have you? Um, I, I think I spoke, did speak to your dad, and was that the first time the three of you had been on a, yeah. played together on a side? Yeah, it's definitely your first, your first time because obviously um, I think uh, I'm three years old. I'm six years older than him, so yeah. I never thought this day would come, you know. And uh, obviously playing with him was, it was good. It was, yeah. it was brilliant, but it was good. And is, am I right in thinking Joel is? He's the. the he's. A decent player as well, is he? And yeah, yeah, he's not too he bad. He's uh, pushing along. You know, he obviously wants to compete with the brothers, so yeah. everyone's trying to compete with the one above them. So he's just going along. It's like a chain reaction. But my sister's gone a different path. So. And she's a tennis player, is yeah. that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, you you broke into the the England team recently as well, haven't you? Uh, in the, and uh, I'm, I think Mike Cat was comparing you to, um, to Neil Back. Um, is you, is that? Do you, do you see yourself as, as in a similar style to that, or? I see myself as being me, you know. I, yeah. I don't. I grew. I grew up to be honest. I grew up watching uh, George Smith. Uh-huh. I thought he was my hero. He was my idol, and um, everything he did, I, I wanted to do. So that's what I based myself on when we came a flank of doing. Yeah. So if I had to see myself one anyone, it would probably be him, George Smith. We've still got a lot of work to go, but hopefully one day. Yeah, because you weren't, you haven't always been a flanker. No, nah, I've played yeah. everywhere. Centre, I played centre up until I was uh, 17. Uh, after centre, wing, full backs, from our, you name it, you know. So. And you, you uh, like your brother Dylan, you were in France yeah, in I your was, early years. Yeah, I was in France from the age of, I want to say 10 to 16, something like that. So it what, was good. what was it like? How did that compare to? Um, to playing rugby over here, a lot of fighting over there. Really? <laughs> yeah. You kind of you kind of get used to it, where everyone's everyone's always trying to look for fights. They're playing rugby, so so you had to stick up for yourself. You? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I saw it helps here because obviously coming here, there are way bigger guys than you, so you've yeah. got to be able to stick up for yourself to if you want to compete in this competition. Now, um, season only what two weeks away now? Yeah. Um, have you thought about any personal goals at all that you'd like to achieve? Um, well, f- for myself, I want to be the fittest guy out there, so that is my that's my main priority. I don't, I, I want to be pushing. I want to be pushing. I don't want to give any coaches any reason for not picking me by saying I'm unfit. So that's my main goal. To be honest, is is getting fit and uh, being the fittest I can be. And uh, team, team, team goals? goals to win. To win, yeah, yeah. all the way to win. Yeah. Um, Premiership or Heineken Cup? Both. Both. <laughs> yeah. No question. We're, we're in it. We're in it to win it. So. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think all the guys, are, all the guys, obviously, we won in it last year, and we're disappointed that we won in it last year. And now that we've got, now that we've got this chance again, um, I think all the boys want to. We're ready for it. So, yeah. and Toby has said that he feels that this could be the strongest team. You've got a lot m- more depth this year. Um, do you feel that uh, that you can can go go all the way in in, oh, in both competitions? Oh, definitely. Because obviously we've got, uh, as Toby said, we've got uh, more people, and um, obviously th- these guys we've got, it's better they guys can just jump in straight away without any problems. So it's knowing you've got that backup to just swap the players in and there won't be any confusion and everyone will play well together. I think that's the most important thing. Well last year we only had like th- I think we only had like thirty two players so we didn't really have like two full squads. So it was a bit tough last year because a lot of players getting tired and stuff but this year I think it's a great opportunity for us and we've got to take it.